Good morning, everyone. And welcome to Wake Up Missoula. Uh, get a close on look, close up look on uh, what's going on in Missoula for sure, and a close up look on us today. Hello, everyone. <laughs> My name is Noelle McVoy, and, and I'm thanks Scott for Ramp. tuning in to Wake Up Missoula. It's Monday morning, and we've all had a great weekend. How was yep. your weekend, Scott? It was pretty chill. It you know, um, Saturday was great. The weather was looking really nice. Sunday got really hot. I went to the Maids Fair here mm. in uh, Missoula. Mm-hmm. Bought a book. Oh, good. Um, okay. On what? On um, I is it know. a novel? It, it's a little uh, uh, illustration novel. Cool. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I'll have to read it and then tell you what I think. But yeah, yeah. it's made uh, by locally. It's a cool. locally made book and artist. And what else cool things did you see at the movie? Uh, what other cool things? A lot of unique little things mm-hmm. and whatnot, knickknacks. It's mostly just like uh, handcrafts and uh, mugs and clothes and stuff mm-hmm. like that. The clothes never really. Really, really jumped out at me because it's like, oh, a shirt, whoop de doo. Wow, look at that shirt, cool. <laughs> yeah. But that's just my thing. It's got like to order uh, shirts online. Yeah, why not? Yeah. You can get some cool ones. Yeah, get some great shirts. Yeah. How was your weekend, Basa? It was fine. I just practiced the piano. Nice. And yeah. dealt with my little issue over the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Asaph lost all of his stuff. Yeah, I did. It happens, though. I know. Yeah. Such is life. Yeah. yeah, but my weekend was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Thanks for asking, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you went out of town. You went I did. to Fort Benton and yes. you did the uh, 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 summer have, celebration well, over well, in Fort Benton. Were they there. like uh, you know how like uh, um, Deer Lodge has territory days? Uh, did they? Did it's Fort Benton, like was that. it kind of like? A, yeah, it's like a fundraiser for Fort Benton, and it's just like a summer celebration. It was their fortieth year of wow. doing it, so it was pretty fun. I had a great What's time. What's the name of it? It's Fort Benton Summer Celebration. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a good time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, like a, a Fort Benton Days or Fort I, Benton. I mean, people call it Fort Benton Days, but I'm pretty sure it's just Summer Celebration. Nice. Yeah. Because right. I think the whole like days thing was just like, oh, you're going to blah 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 days or yeah. territory days or mm-hmm. Lewis and Clark days, and that that was like a like last ten years they started doing that for a lot of these events and whatnot. It's true. The days. <laughs> The fun days. Yep. <laughs> but of course, uh, your weather is looking um, pretty nice this week. Yeah. You're looking into the uh, high 80s, low 90s for the next week. For this this whole week, it's going to be great. Uh, let's take a look. It currently is 49 degrees outside, but it's going to quickly change to about 89 degrees tonight, uh, today. And of course, tonight the low is going to be 50. So most of your lows are going to be in the 40s and 50s throughout the week. Um, you're going to have most partly cloudy, really sunny, pretty much all week long for your work week. But if you're stuck inside, that's... Yeah, it's too bad. <laughs> it is too bad, yeah. It's summer has finally arrived. It's going to be so warm. So you guys, get out on the river. Yep, and if you want more information, you can go to uh, nationalweatherservice.gov. Mm-hmm. But of course, if you want to find more information about Wake Up Missoula, you can log on to our website, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. <laughs> so nice. We made you right up twice. You see me in the background That's smirking. hilarious. It, that, that was probably the thumbnails. I didn't actually have to fi- look for it. That's so funny. It was perfect. And uh, you can like us on Facebook. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at Wake Up Missoula. Missoula can Community Access Television. Also, as a Twitter, you can follow us at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on Facebook. And to find out more information, just check us out on MCAT.org. Cool. Yep. And, of course, uh, tonight is the uh, government meeting. Um, oh. The city council, they do a meeting every single Monday, except for the fifth Monday. And, of course, if there's any uh, holidays. holidays. So yeah. next uh, next Monday, we'll, there will not be a meeting because it's July 4th. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. So nice. they're taking that off. Uh, but today they're talking about the big issue of whether or not to... Uh, do the permit to say to demolish the mercantile. It's 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 a long winded. So is this it's the, a very long Is winded. this yeah. the like actual meeting of choosing? Like this, this is won't the meeting the of the uh, demolition of the um, the permit of uh, talking about the permit about yeah it's it's super complex. Are they going to send it back to the committee or is this like the choice? Like this is this the is meeting. a public hearing. Okay. So it's gonna the meeting is um, slated to go on for. Uh, Five hours. Oh my god! So it's going to be a long meeting. Um, so expect it to be a long meeting. So and if you're there for one reason or another, um, expect to later. hang out there for a while. Uh, they'll do the consent agenda. They get through that, and then of course the public hearing for this. So it'll be a long meeting. I, I swear there'll probably be an hour, hour and a half just of public comment in this particular public hearing. I would. Most say that. people they like they ask people to like give the public um, comment, but of mm-hmm. course most people will just end up repeating what the last person said. There'll be a couple good points, but then 
it, it'll get to the point where it'll kind of di- divulge down into like I I was here 50 years ago mercantile is I where I there. proposed to my wife yeah and the memory is always there yes yeah, nice no. guy. So you hear stories <laughs> like that, but of course, speaking of stories, uh, it, we ha- it is Monday and we'll have uh, tales from the weekend oh. for you guys. But of course, there is a bunch of new program, um, yes. new, bunch of new programs on tonight and tomorrow night on MCAT, starting with uh, music for your Monday and of course lectures for your Tuesday. Great. And uh, here's a little tease of what you guys can um, see tonight and tomorrow night on MCAT channel 189. <laughs> general. So women's rights is a global issue all over the world, not only in Afghanistan, not only in Iran or Middle Eastern country, everywhere women are women. They have their struggles, they, 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 are, they have their disadvantages in the society, even in developed countries. Uh, but basically you put it in front of you like that, take a selfie and post it on Twitter, uh, Facebook, I guess Instagram, so any of the three trending <coughs> social media groups, you can tell how old I am since I, all I use it. Hey guys, we are back! Alright, and it is time for events going on in your community. Okay, so uh, we've got a couple camps to start out. We've got one at 9 a.m. over at Ruth Zachary Sports Center. It's their preschool camp time travelers. Uh, so this is ages 3 to 5. You can do a half day or you can do a full day. Uh, 9 to noon is half. Full day is 9 to 3.30. Um, and they do have child care before and after 8, 8 and 2, 5. Um, and so if you want to just walk in, it's $90. Regular registration is $99. Um, I guess at this point you can only walk in. So a half day camp for walk Walk-in rate is, um, looks like it is $109. Full-day camp walk-in rate is $185 for the full week. Um, And then they also have a performing arts camp that starts at 9. It's for ages 5 to 12 years. And they said that they'll have different activities uh, to kind of break up the day for those ages 5 to 8 since they might, you know, not be able to pay attention the whole time or need to do other activities. Um, And so uh, the pricing is about the same, $185 to walk in for a full day um, for the week and then $109 for half day for the week. Uh, okay, so over at Taste Bloods Kitchen, they've got a cooking science camp for ages 4 to 8, starting at 9 a.m. It's $195 for the whole week, or else it's $45 per day. And then over at Peaceful Heart Yoga, they've got a preschool yoga and mindfulness camp for ages 3 to 6. And so um, it's June 27th to July 1st. Half day, uh, ages 3 to 6, is 9.30 to 12.30, it's only $105. And so they'll do breathing um, in imaginative ways to harness the energy of their emotions and cool us down, cool them down and clear their minds. And then they'll use yoga poses through stories, obstacle courses, and games. Nice. Over at Sudden Victory Wrestling Academy, there's wrestling camp. It starts at 10 a.m. Um, it goes from June 27th to June 30th, so for a couple days. You can call 214-8580 for more information. Uh, over the Missoula Public Library, they've got their kids' table, so this is where uh, you get a free lunch if you're ages 18 and under. And then you also do a craft and like hear some stories and stuff. Um, and so it starts at 11.30. Ruth Zachary Sports Center has another camp, their trampoline and tumbling camp. This is for the second half of the day, or the full day. So it's ages 7 to 12 years. Um, you can do a half day from 1230 to 3.30, or a full day from 9 to 3.30. Bridge Group is at the Senior Center at 1 p.m. 
Uh, and then over at the Mozilla Public Library at 3 is Computer Electronics in their makerspace. The Word House, uh, Word Play is at the base of the warehouse mall. It starts at 5. That's uh, word expansion and exploration through, you know, talking and sharing and playing games. Uh, over the Top Hat Lounge, they've got Raising the Dead, the live recorded shows of the Grateful Dead from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. They've got Happy Hour, they've got Trivia, everything you could want. Uh, there's an open mic night over at Imagination Brewing Company at 6 o'clock. Also at 6 is an internet searching class in the Missoula Public Library. So if you have a computer but don't know how to get on the internet, you should probably go to this. You can call 721-2665 uh, to register. Yeah. Oh, looks like... Okay, that's it. Sorry, you guys. I didn't break up my events, and that's all I have for you for this evening. <laughs> that was a very abrupt ending. So, that's what's going on on Monday. We're switching gears now over to Asaf Adonai. Oh. <laughs> anyway, when I was a little boy, I used to watch a cartoon called Heckle and Jekyll. Heckle and Jekyll were a pair of identical yellow-billed magpies... And they were known for getting into mischief and always getting into trouble and situations. But they could outwit their foes, similar to Bugs Bunny. Now, our guest on today's musical notes, plural, <laughs> they're not mischievous, but they are identical twins. Tamara Darvet Maori Housley, known to the world as Tamara Maori, and Tia Dash and Maori Hardrick, known to the world as Tia Maori. Now, both girls, they're known as Tia and Tamara, but Tamara is actually the older twin by two minutes. And the way to make the distinction, Tamara has a little mole on her cheek, and Tia does not. So you can see how identical these young women are. And two minutes make all the difference. Yeah, two whole minutes. Anyway, um, I'm going to talk about Tamara first. Tamara, like her sister Tia, Tia, they are both American actresses, models, and both of them gained fame in the teen, in the teen role on ABC's sitcom Sister, Sister. And basically the synopsis of that, that show, they were separated at birth. Tia and Tamara, their characters, they were both separated at birth. And then when they became teenagers, they were at the mall shopping at a clothing store and they had a chance meeting with their parents. And that started the series, Sister, Sister. Now, Tamara also, she's appeared in the Disney Channel movie with her sister Tia called Twitches and the sequel Twitches 2. And um, they are both singers too. Tamara and Tia, they started a singing group in 1990 called Voices, and both debuted their single, Yeah, 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 in 1992, and it charted number 72 in the Billboard Top 100. Now to talk about Tia for a moment. There's not much differences between these two, you know, as I stated. Tamara and Tia, they're both on Twitches, Twitches too, both singers, but Tia, she also appeared in the Nickelodeon, Nick at Night television sitcom, Instant Mom. And Tia has maybe a couple more accomplishments here. Like she's been nominated for the Teen Choice Award and the NAACP Image Awards for Best Actress in a Comedy. Both young women appeared in Blue's Clues. I don't know if you remember Blue or not, mm -hmm. the little blue dog. Anyway, they appeared on an episode called Blue's Birthday where they made a cameo wishing Blue a happy birthday. Remember that theme song? Uh -huh. <laughs> so, and then finally, um, to sum this up, they're, you know, they have children now. They're grown. They have their own families. There they were with Tim Reed and Jack Hay when they were teenagers on their show. Um, let's see, let me... Get this here. They, they both got started in pageants when they were children, and they did talent shows. They convinced their parents to move to Hollywood where they pursued acting, and of course, in their case, it worked. And they were also discovered on the set of Full House with the Olsen twins, so I thought that might be a good piece of trivia history. And after, this, after the series ended, they, both of these young women went on to get degrees in psychology at the Pepperdine University 
and of course now they're raising their children these days and they're both married and they these were just delightful ladies that had a fun television show when they were younger and that's why I'm going to quit Tia and Tamara, you can look them both up and have fun with them. Nice. Thank you very much, Asaf. Yeah, sure. I remember watching that show when I was younger with my sister, yeah. and we liked it. Because yeah. you guys were sisters. <laughs> we both my, sister. my sisters loved the show, yeah. of course. I was into their uh, uh, watching their uh, show with their little brother. Oh, yeah. And yeah, it was Taj called Mary. Smart. Yep. There's a smart guy. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I really enjoyed, like that was more like my kind of I remember for that, sure, yeah. Wasn't he was like he a kid like, in high school? Wasn't the synopsis, <laughs> yeah, that he was like a little kid, but he was in high school. He, they yeah. called it, he was a smart guy. And yeah. I, my favorite parts were when they were using, when they said smart guy in the um, show. And it's like, oh. I love when movies name the title, name yeah. their title in their own movie. I love it. Yeah, yeah. so these are some delightful young women, and they just left the world some a fun show at that nice. time. Thanks, Asa. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. It's oh, crazy to see all those uh, kids and those uh, sitcom shows all grown up and doing this and doing that and doing Isn't all it? sorts of crazy things. And of course, uh, I we, have, we have an art clip for you guys, um, and it's uh, animophilia. Oh. And it's fe uh, the philia is with a ph, not an f. Just uh -huh. so you guys know. And it's going to go on until July 23rd at the Missoula Art Museum. And of course, if you weren't here last week uh, watching our show, uh, they are they ended the floodplains print, mm -hmm. printing um, photos that were on the second floor of the Missoula Art Museum. Of course, this one will be the next one to go. And um, just check it out. There's always a bunch of new stuff at the Missoula Art Museum. And it's for you guys. And it's free admission, free expression. That's like me selling... But they're non-profit. They, no. they don't need, they it's an art money. museum, sure. Yeah, it's yeah. a museum. Yeah. Yeah. It's all volunteers. Right. I'm not commercializing it. No. All right. But you should go to the Missoula Art Museum, and here's a little tease of what you guys can expect if you go there. Okay, and this is what I've got going on for you guys on Tuesday. Okay, so over the Barn Movement Studio is Sunrise Kundalini Yoga starting at 7.30 a.m. Um, and so it goes until July 26th and you can just drop in if you want to or just take the whole eight week series. Over the Historical Museum at Fort Missoula, they've got kids' activities tomorrow. This is all tomorrow stuff, starting at 11. So from 11 to 12 and 3 to 4, all summer long, every Tuesday and Thursday. Cool, that sounds fun. Preschool Playgroup is over at Ruth Zachary Sports Center starting at 11 it's for ages walking to five years. Uh, it's an hour and it's only $8 drop in or $12 for siblings. And they set up different activities and stations around the gym. And parents and children get to rotate and choose what they want to do. Over at the Roxy Theater, they're showing Happy Feet, which is a movie about penguins dancing and being happy. It's really cute. That's Directed really by the guy who did Mad Max. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> All right, the art series is over at the Children's Museum of Missoula starting at 11. So these are fun projects for your kids that teach you basic art skills. Yeah. Shooting the Bull Toastmasters is in the Alps boardroom in the Florence building. There starts at noon. Um, and this is where you can grow your vocabulary, increase your public speaking, and your confidence. Uh, this is cute. So starting at 1230 is a Girl Scouts camp tomorrow. This is for grades K through 3. 
Um, and it's called I Can Be Anything. And it's open to girls who are incoming kindergartners through third grade. I literally just said that. And it's okay. um, I Can Be dot 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 anything. I can be anything, yeah. Yeah. It's like a pause. Can. I can be anything. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. So, uh, let's see. It looks like it's June 28th and 29th from 1235 to 5, and it's $5 for both days. Um, but if you're not already a Girl Scout, there's going to be a $15 membership fee that will last until the end of September. So you basically you are going to have to be a Girl Scout to do this. Uh, okay, so call 252-0488, extension 2304, for, for, for questions or to sign up. Yeah. Uh, over at the Missoula Public Library, they've got a children's summer activity, Ula Mania. Starts at 2 p.m. Um, and so what it is is a crazy fun workout dance party. Sweet. Yoga Warriors is at the Learning Center of Red Willow at 4 p.m. This specific yoga program designed for veterans and their caregivers to help with anxiety and sleeping problems. Uh, on Tuesdays, they've got Fall from the Parks. They rotate around in different parks around Missoula every Tuesday. So it starts at 5.30 and they're going to be doing Silver Park tomorrow. Uh, back at the Missoula Public Library, they've got Community Creative Writing Workshop that starts at 6 p.m. in their makerspace. Uh, and then also at 6 is yoga in the parks. So as well as fall from the parks, they do yoga in the parks. And so this week is going to be at Pineview Park, so tomorrow at 6. Uh, over at the Top Hat Lounge is their picking circle. This is for bluegrass-oriented musicians to go out there and jam out. It's in their uh, raised seating area in front of the sound booth. At Imagination Brewing Company, there's traditional Irish music at 6 p.m. And then at 6.30 at the Missoula Public Library is System Check. This is their official gamers club for ages 19 and under. And they have all the games, you know, like board games and video games and card games and all these cool games. I don't know. Uh, African dance class is at the Missoula Senior Center at 7 p.m. It's uh, $10 per class or $35 for four classes. And then Ula is at the Barn Movement Studio at 7. Uh, from 7 to 8. And then at the Top Hat Lounge, we've got some music. Bonnie Bishop is playing at 8 p.m. At the Badlander at 9 is Missoula Music Showcase. And then over at the VFW at 9.30 is Michelle Carter, Love is a Dog, and New Old Future. So that's what's going on in your community. As always, check out MissoulaEvents.net, University of Montana website, um, the Missoulian and the Independent for more events. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, it's Monday, everybody, and it's uh, the last Monday of the month. And of course, for the next two weeks, it, uh, MCAT will be open for the public from 1 to 8, mm -hmm. except on Friday, where we close at 5. We know it's an early Friday, it's summer mm -hmm. hours, um, just for the next two weeks. And then our uh, summer camp hours um, are going to start up again. So from July 11th all the way till July 29th. Yep. Most of our public hours are gonna be from Tuesday through Thursday from 5 to 8 p.m. So that small window is your chance to come out and check out equipment from MCAT for your uh, television producing needs. It's very true, yeah. Um, and then also, you guys, we have orientation every second Wednesday of the month. Yes. So uh, next week is the first week of July, and the week after that will be our orientation. So if yes. you want to come down, you can come down to, down to MCAT on Wednesday in two weeks it, to figure July out. July 13th, I believe. July 13th to learn how to use our equipment, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll be able to you know get you all the stuff that you need to make and produce a television show and edit it and put it on our channel. But yep, you can um, call us at 542-628, otherwise known as 542. MCAT. And if you want a secure spot, you can always email us MCAT at MCAT.org, mm -hmm. and you know spots are always available and uh, the sky is the limit pretty it's much. It's true. It's great. But of yeah. course it is time for uh, our, um, our uh, I guess our um, freshman segment as I like to call it. It's called uh, Tales from the Weekend. Are you guys ready to listen? We sure <laughs> are Scott. All right let's uh, ooh. Wow, that's pretty Hi. <laughs> Well, uh, nice to see you. Uh, <laughs> nice to see you too, dude. This, this Monday's kind of been a rough start, you know? It, it's like, we're just kind of like, uh, this and that, and just like, can't really That's totally express how ourselves. It, it's how it's like, the we, we're still in weekend brain. Yep. And I, I totally know how most people feel. A lot of times, our Mondays are kind of like, shaky, but this time it's just like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it was that bad, so. Yeah. Well, like, uh, yeah, I think everyone's been kind of like... Just kind of off today. It is, but I've it's been okay. so off today, and, and then just like uh, this and. This yeah, and that. Just, just, but yeah. I'll, I'll try to get through this without as many flubs as possible. So, here is tales from the weekend. The story begins with an old coat 
by the name of Jeffrey, which is spelled G-E-O-F-F-R-E-Y. <laughs> uh, like most small coats, they become too small for their owners to wear, as the owners get older and have a harder time keeping the excess weight off. Not to mention the coat was weathered and had those tacky, you know, crucifixes on like the back and there's, you know, like, nobody really wears that. That's like, it looks like a style from like five, ten years ago. You know, like how they have in the back of the pocket of the oh, jeans yeah. and the crucifix. This is like the one with the big, huge, like crucifix on the back of the, oh, the leather so jacket. Bad. So it's super tacky and stuff like that. So Terrible. it's kind of like out of style. Nobody really wants it. It's not going to come back for maybe a little while. But anyways, um, Jeff... Uh, would bounce from owner to owner over the years, leading to a cute little thrift store on the edge of town. It doesn't look like much, but for Jeff, it was paradise. For the first time ever, he was put up on display in the window. Whether it be ironically or not, the fact that he was up in the window was just another reason why it was good for him. Um, the other outfits from the false, the faux furs and um, to the helmets. It's true. You know, people give their helmets to thrift stores. It's ridiculous. You know, which is kind of crazy because especially since nobody needs an old baseball helmet that doesn't even cover the important areas of your head. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, jealousy was very common between clothes in the thrift store. It's true. Uh, <laughs> uh, some of the uh, old timers, aka old style clothes and pretty much anything with white with permanent stains, never paid any mind to the fancier clothes like hats and coats and stuff. Uh, one day, a beautiful dress of golden white, or wait, or was it uh, golden blue? Never mind. Um, her name was Kelly the Dress, and she was known to cause controversy among clothes and staff of the thrift store alike. Uh, many times the dress was bought and returned for reasons following along the lines of what color is this damn dress? <laughs> um, it wasn't until the store decided to put it up on the window and a sign that read blue and gold or white and gold, you decide. <laughs> um, much to Jeffrey's um, dislike, he had to share the window space with another piece of clothing besides the rusted trombone and the old pair of shoes with wooden soles. Um, in the beginning, the two never got along because Jeff would be like blue and gold and Kelly would be like gold and white. Um, Jeff and Kelly were never purchased because no one wanted Jeff because he was too tacky and Kelly was one of the things that the store would actually not sell. It was one of their drawing points. Um, this of course made Jeff extremely jealous. Um, one day, the thrift store hired a new employee and Jeff hatched a plan to get rid of Kelly once and for all. The store's owner left the young lady in charge of the store as they went on lunch break, you know, this and that. Um, customers would pass by, but would never get close enough just for Jeff to hatch his plan to knock Kelly over and, you know, just be like, oh, cool, it's a dress, blah, blah, blah. Um, just then, a young woman came in and was wandering near the window booth. Jeffrey sprung into action and knocked over Kelly and in the process, knocked over himself. Jeffrey would be like, whoops, I fell over in a very like jerky tone, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Jeff knocked himself over with Kelly. Um, the young lady picked up both clothes and took him to the dressing room. She came out with the white dress on and then the coat over the, the dress and everything. And uh, the young lady uh, went up to the counter and said, how much for the dress? And the employee responded, uh, no tag? Mm, maybe like 10 bucks. <laughs> um, the, young, um, the young lady walked out with Jeff and Kelly on her with her her clothes that she was wearing when she came to the store around her arm. Um, but of course, you know, and the moral of the story is, you know, sometimes what you think is tacky or controversial can actually go together very well. Um, Jeff got a new owner while Kelly, Kelly the, Kelly the dress has someone to keep her warm. Um, yep, and no matter who people think the dress is blue and white and not go white or gold. Nice. Tales from the weekend. Tales that's from great. The I like. I like that they always have a moral story at the end. I mm -hmm. think that's really nice. It makes me feel wholesome <laughs> on my Monday. Yep. Nice little moral message for you guys for your moral Mondays. Moral uh, Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to find out more information about Wake Up Missoula and many of our games that we play, uh, from Hallmark to Walmart to Tales from the Weekend to uh, events, which can be quite gamey. 
It's yes. a bunch of games. Yeah, games all day long. And uh, we have all these kids' videos uh, we have all ready for you guys for the rest of the week. So stay tuned for that. Uh, if you want to find out more about that and more, you can log on to our website, Wake Up Missoula. Dot .wix.com slash wake up Missoula. So nice, we made you write it out twice. You can like us on Facebook. You could follow us on Twitter. Missoula Community Access Television also has a Twitter. Check us out at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on Facebook. And to find out more information, go to MCAT.org. Yep. So uh, thank you guys for joining us this Monday. Uh, we'll see you Wednesday. And for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramp. And my name is Noelle McAvoy. Have a great day, everyone. And we'll see you Wednesday.